Hello everyone and welcome back to Brooke's Beauty Bazaar. My name is Brooke and in today's video, I am going to tell you why I think the fungal acne community needs to quit villainizing glycerin. Roll the footage. So this video came about because even though I have explained myself before and I will link that moment right here right now, there is still so much debate about whether glycerin causes fungal acne or if it's just totally okay. So today we are going to decide once and for all whether it's good or bad. So make sure you guys stay tuned till the end because if you hear my whole argument and still decide you don't want to use glycerin, I'm going to share three products with you that are technically glycerin free and also will help fight your fungal acne. So what actually is glycerin? According to Paula's Choice, glycerin, also called glycerol or glycerine, is a humectant that's present in all natural lipids, aka fats, whether animal or vegetable. It can be derived from natural substances by hydrolysis of fats and by fermentation of sugars. It also can be synthetically manufactured, which is usually the case with modern day skincare products. So now that we know what it is by definition, we also want to know how is it used in our skincare products. So glycerin is a skin replenishing and skin restoring ingredient, meaning it is a substance found naturally in skin, helping to establish normal balance and hydration. It's one of the many substances in skin that helps maintain a healthy look and feel, defending against dryness and working to maintain skin's moisture level. Essentially, glycerin is a master at hydration and works best when combined with other replenishing and emollient ingredients. So AKA, glycerin is a product that can actually help maintain our moisture barrier by preventing dehydration in the skin. And I don't care if you're suffering from fungal acne or any number of other skin conditions, if your moisture barrier is being disrupted and not functioning properly, you're not going to be able to heal your skin to the best of its ability ever. And also by definition, glycerin is a humectant, which is very similar to another product that I know and love and talk about all the time. If you guys want to right now, you should guess what that product is in the comment section below, and I'll comment back to you if you're correct. But I'm going to pop a little hint on the screen right now. So we know what glycerin is, but now we need to ask ourselves, is glycerin linked to fungal acne? And furthermore, we need to ask the question, does glycerin actually cause fungal acne and feed the Malassezia yeast, or is it something that can be used to help clear our fungal acne? So I have three studies that I'm going to use to make my point today, and all three of them are going to be linked below so you guys can check them out on your own time. But before we actually get into the meat of this content, I want to say something right now. Remember, it is your job to do your own research and make your own informed decisions. In other words, this is me giving you permission to not listen to my advice or the advice of any beauty YouTuber, influencer, or celebrity out there in the world. Just because someone else recommends something doesn't mean that it's going to work for you. And most importantly, you are responsible for you and nobody else is. So very quickly, we are going to touch on these three studies. Now the first study is the one that I linked to in my very first video where I speak about glycerin. and. I am going to link it again, but the link is not working. It's a little bit harder to find that actual study anymore. So here's the main gist of that study. So this is a funky study because there were no actual human subjects involved. Instead, they took the Malassezia yeast and they submerged it into two formulations of glycerin. In one formulation, there was a high concentration of glycerin, and in the other, there was a lesser amount. Neither was pure glycerin, both contained other substances. And what they found was that when the Malassezia yeast was submerged into the higher concentration, it did not clear up and potentially also caused more problems. But when it was submerged into a lower concentration of glycerin mixture, it actually did clear up which indicates that it could potentially help clear fungal acne. Now in this second and longer study that you can actually download a copy of for yourself, they found that glycerin does not feed Malassezia at all. That one is a longer study, but because it is widely available to anyone who wants it, I highly encourage you guys to go get your hands on that so you can see all the various things that were going on there. And then in the third study, glycerin therapy is actually stated as one of the effective treatments for Malassezia. So my point is, there is no definitive answer on whether glycerin does or does not promote the growth of Malassezia. 
But it seems to me that studies show that glycerin does not promote the growth of malassezia unless it is mixed with other lipids that are already known to promote the growth. Again, all three of these studies are linked below and I encourage you guys to check them out for yourself so you can make the best decision. I can present all of this scientific information to you and inevitably on every video that I have where I mention a product that contains glycerin, I am still going to get all of these comments all the time saying that you disagree and that glycerin feeds malassezia. And to you, I just say the proof is in the pudding and that pudding is me. Personally, I have been using multiple products every single day that contain glycerin for over a year now, ever since I first discovered that I was suffering from fungal acne. Right now, this is the clearest my skin has been in over 15 years without the help of prescription strength drugs and all of these fancy products that I bought that only worked as band-aids. They were never able to fully clear me of my acne problems. So even though I know that I will always get this comment, I am now not going to respond and try to convince you otherwise. I'm just gonna point you directly to this video and you can decide about glycerin for yourself. So this has been my plea to quit villainizing glycerin. And now since I feel like I have to say it, I just want to reiterate with you guys, if you are one of the rare people who is allergic to glycerin, and when I say rare, this is an extremely rare allergy, I am in no way telling you that you should start using glycerin. Duh, you shouldn't do that. And the other thing I wanna make sure you know is that if you don't wanna use glycerin, you don't have to use glycerin. And that is why I'm going to share three products with you guys right now that will help you get clear, beautiful skin and fight your fungal acne, and none of these products actually contain glycerin. Now the second product that I have to recommend is one that is actually going to kill off the Malassezia yeast and that is the Stridex Maximum Strength Peel Pads. These have 2% salicylic acid in them and that salicylic acid is going to do the job of actually killing off the yeast and promoting clear, smooth, beautiful skin for you. And then the third thing that I think everyone needs to make sure they have when you're using all these astringent ingredients on your skin is a good moisturizer. So one that I highly recommend but I don't have in person with me today is the Fab Coconut Cream Water. It's glycerin free. And then if you can't get your hands on that, you could also use something like this, which is the Biosense 100% Squalane Oil. This one is sugarcane derived and therefore it's going to be extremely safe for you to use. If you need more than those three products, I actually have a glycerin-free shopping guide that you guys can download in the bar below, and it is absolutely free. If you guys wanna shop any of the products that I mentioned today, you can click on the links below in the down bar, or you can just visit brooksbeautybazaar.com, go press the shop at the top of the page, and it'll link all of my favorite fungal acne-friendly products. Until my next video, I will see you guys over on Instagram at brooksbeautybazaar, where I hang out every single day. Yeah, science is over, which is always the hard part. Every time it gets hot in this room, everything goes to I have this sparkling water. You beautiful queen. Okay, You're yeah, so I'm, pretty. I'm Roll the footage. Is that too animated? I don't know if that's a good one. Alright, do it one more time. Gigi, she didn't like it. Roll the footage. That's it's a YouTuber's prerogative to have Rick's haters. Are, would you get on with I it? can't get on with it. I don't, I don't know what this <laughs> script says.